What's up, everybody? My name's Danny Ferrari. This is Parker Ament. What is up, y'all? We are Excellent Sound. We make the hottest fucking remake tutorials on YouTube. The most excellent premium elite sample. So fucking make sample. sure you guys like and subscribe. Smash that like button. Anyway, we're going to teach you guys how to do Sudden Death Behemoth. It sounds like this. We're going to be making this today. <laughs> It's our first Sudden Death track. Dude, it's fucking great. I'm pretty excited about it. Did you ever play Sudden Death with Super Smash Brothers? I feel like I do, it's but I don't life. remember. One Just life. one life. Yeah, one life to live. Damn, I, I haven't played Super Smash in a while. Yeah. What's up, Baker in the back? Hi. Baker in the back. Oh, drum set. Yeah. Shout out drum set. Shout out D-dubs. Boom. D-dubs. I can't point to it. Anyway, yeah, super exciting things. Uh, we're going really far down on this rhythm train because we do have Rhythm Riot that is out. It has been out. It's got 60 presets, over 250 sounds. It's 50 bucks. 50 super bucks, cheap. Dude, no way. There it is, Rhythm Riot. It's doing fantastic. Shit. The people are loving it. Fantastic. They're going crazy. They're fucking starting riots, bro. We've been doing a lot of lessons and mentoring lately, too. People a lot of this that up. Stuff. We're busy, bro. A lot of big things we're about to announce. Ginormous things. Everything's always big and giant with Enormously us. Enormously excellent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> big fucking things, if you know what I'm saying. Big BF dicks. I mean, BFTs. BFTs. Anyway, yeah, a lot of uh, new announcements coming up. And we're like so close to 10K. Holy shit. Yeah, we're fucking, we're probably a couple hundred off. Yep, that 1788 video is doing great. Yep. Thank you guys for that. Looks Shout like you guys out. like that. So if you guys want to see more, is that called mid-tempo? Mid-tempo. Uh, what is it called? Mid-tempo? Gustafelstein stish? Neon shit. If you guys want to see more of that, you want to see more of this, just let us know in the comments down below. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, compress, comment, sub smash, and, it. smash a like, whatever. All this stuff will be free in the download description for you below. We have a link down there for you right now. And if you're part of our subs and wubs on Facebook, our group, private super group, you already have the preset. So you you're already welcome. got it. So if you want to take that shit and leave, go ahead. Just let us know you did so. That's all we say. All That's right. That's all we ask. This will be a quick one. I think we're only doing like one sound. I got both the preset and the rack. We're going to start with this elements of this song. We're going to be making this sound. Like I said, it sounds like this. <laughs> Pretty nasty. So sick. Uh, we got a sub that sounds like this. We went ahead and remade the kick, which will be in Signature Series Volume Five. Uh, that should be Volume Five, baby. Probably our That's next. What's up? Uh, yeah, just keep just keep an ear out for Signature Series Volume Five. We'll let you know when it's coming. It sounds like this: sudden death kick. Oh, and then a little clap. Shit the, is nasty. For the clap, I just layered two claps from Cartel. It's a pretty simple clap. It sounds like this. A little bit of verb. I'll have that in Signature Series Volume Four. Beautiful. But if you have Cartel, you already have that. That basically sounds exactly the same. Slap. Uh, the slap clap. Cartel 02 with a little bit of reverb in one shot mode. And then Cartel clap 05. That's the beauty of Cartel, dude. It's like. Everything it's, sounds great. Yeah. Everything sounds great. You can use it in rhythm. You can use it in hybrid. All that shit. That's Mid what Joe Wright said. Oh, that's what exactly. Carmack said. That's what Carmack said. Who else said that? Uh, Skrillex. Skrillex. No, he didn't, but no, he didn't. Uh, I think, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he thinks that. But Dylan Francis has it. <laughs> oh, hey. clap first. Okay, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and move on. Let's go ahead and uh, make some shit. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a new MIDI track. Shift, Command, T, or Shift, Alt, T. Bam, I'm going to pull up a serum like so. I can't fucking, Beautiful. I'm, I'm kind of tight in here, dude. Beautiful serum, dude. Should, should it get a little tighter in there? No, dude, I'm mm -hmm. feeling great. Dude. Whoa, dude. Whoa. Whoa, that's three fingers little... you just put on my back. Oh, sorry, only two. <laughs> only <laughs> I'm going to copy lot. this down. Uh, MIDI is pretty simple. It goes, uh, 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 uh. There's a little bit of modulation that I'll go through, what I did with the comb filter, but it's super basic. Holy shit, this thing's oh, flying all over. Yeah, God bro. damn it. What are you doing? Whoa, dude, oh, who set God. this up, bro? Oh, my God. They got to be fired. It was you. No, dude, I didn't set that shit up. I did. <laughs> Baker, you're fired. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, you just fired Jesus. Baker, dude. Why did you admit it, Baker? <laughs> we told Should have blamed him. <laughs> I said I didn't set it up. Oh. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, no. We're it's fine. Just I'm just fucking with you. All right, let's hear how it sounds. It sounds like this. Sick. All right, cool. Slappiest kick ever. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring down the... Uh, audio effect rack oh i didn't save the the uh, the rack 
Should well, I do that? Real yeah, quick? just do it real quick. Okay, cool. I'm gonna do something real quick. Parker, tell them about something great. I'm gonna go ahead and save. Yeah, show them how to do it too. Okay, so if you didn't already know, you can actually People save don't know about your that effect stuff. chain by going like this menu. Uh, save effect chain. Well, this is what the effects look like. First off, if I want to save this little part in Serum, boom. Save effect chain. And I'm just gonna call this excellent. This is actually super helpful if you are making sounds and you want like a. Like you're having trouble like getting to a place or whatever. Yeah, no, for sure. SD. Look at our effects chain folder, dude. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Beautiful. Yeah. All right, cool. Now that I got that, I'm gonna close that. Bring up this guy. All right, I got my audio effect rack. I'm gonna turn it off, and we'll go through each one of these things at the end. And that, just like so. You guys already have that effect rack in the download description if you want it below. Okay, so it sounds like this, right? Okay, so first thing we're gonna do. Uh, let's do the sub first, okay? First thing I did is is uh, the sub. I like triangle waves for subs when I'm doing like this type of heavy shit. That's like a really. Oh wait, you're on. No, no, you're on the sub sub. I'm talking about the actual sound. Oh. For the sub. Uh, sorry, for the sub oscillator. Ah. Uh. Thank you. For the sub oscillator, we're gonna start with a triangle wave and we're gonna set it to minus one, like so. That looks good. I put a macro on it too, so you can do that if you want. Just pull it all the way down, and then turn this knob all the way up. Do I go to macro one? How much do I have it on? I have it about yeah, halfway. 12 o'clock. You can put it whatever you want. But, and then I have macro one. I call this sub. I've been using a lot of macros lately, especially with the sub. Macros are nice. They're really great. They're a lot of fun to get ideas as far as where it's at. So put it around there, but 33%. Put this at like 59, or no, put it at 50. That works. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the sub. It sounds like this now. Now, I kind of layered the sub, which is kind of usually a no-no, but it sounded good because I wanted to make an extra subtract because yeah. of the processing and the filtering that's going on here is kind of fucking with the sub frequency. So that's why I layered it, but we'll get into that later. Oscillator A is going to be a analog, and it's called mini bass. It looks like basic mini. What is it? Where is it at? Yeah, analog. Analog. Whoa, dude. Whoa. Whoa, dude. Analog, mini bass, just like so. Uh, octave is going to be zero. Set it to five waves of unison, okay? And then turn the detune up just a smidge at like point thirty point thirds, thirties. Yep. Wavetable position is going to be at eighty twos. <laughs> I can't <laughs> not laugh at that. Uh, turn the random all the way up. That's good, that's good, that's good. Turn the level all the way down. And then we're gonna do FM from B for the warping. And then we're gonna go ahead and activate B. B is going to be analog, basic shapes, and we're going to do a square wave like so. Uh, we're going to set the octave to zero. So that's the same. This is all the same. Turn the level all the way down for the warp mode. We're going to set it to sync, no window. And sync then fast. we're going to put sync to 1.2 forts. Toots, forts. Toots, forts. Toots, forts. That looks good. Let's hear how that's. Well, we probably won't be able to hear shit yet because we got to do some messing. Yeah, let's, let's do some LFOs. Uh, okay, let's go back to oscillator A and let's put oscillator A's FM at 79. Beautiful. Sevs, nines. Cool. And then for our shape, for LFO 1, we're going to make it look like this. And I went ahead and added an extra. I like doing this sometimes with my LFOs where I want them to end shorter than they normally do. And I pulled it down just like so. I put it on the trigger and I put it on eighth notes. Now I'll start putting this shit on some stuff. So let's go ahead and put this on the level all the way of oscillator A. All the way. I have it on the sub too, it looks like. Yeah. I have, okay, I put it on the sub. Six thirds. Six thirds. Six thirds. Come on, come on girl, there we go. Six thirds, let's see how that's sounding. I wish I should just play it. Yeah of getting there so all right that's looking good go ahead and let's make a uh wavetable position i'm sorry let's go with lfo2 now lfo2 is going to be kind of like this just like that just to that little line right there yeah. set that to trigger and oh i got the fucking rate turned off i don't know why i did that turn it to 47.6 hertz 47.6 hertz this is the speed of it now. And then we're going to put this on some stuff. We're going to put this on the sync filter of oscillator B. I'm sorry, the sync uh, warp mode and set it to minus nine. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then what else is it on? Oh, it's on a bunch of stuff. 
put it on the FM from B um, eight. Usually, a lot of times when I'm doing this, uh, I'll have a second LFO that I'll use for like, uh, especially like if it's like a comb filter, or for an FM. That's kind of like more random like this. It doesn't always like hit perfectly, uh, just because it kind of adds some difference every time I heard it. So. A good way, nug of nodge. I smell weed right now, dude. Yeah, dude, I smell weed as well. Who's smoking the Baker? wad? Baker, you smoking back there? Smoking the weed, dude? I'm just <laughs> Smoking the reef. Anyway, so here's a good little point of reference for a nug of nodge. If you guys smoke nodge, you better. You fucking smoke nodge? Um, basically, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and try using a second LFO in a different sort of shape that will... Uh, offer a little bit of randomness to your sound by putting it on things like FM or cutoff of your filter. Uh, the reason why you want to do this is because, like I said, it's going to change the sound. So every single time you hit the key, it's just going to change a little bit. Not like too much, but things like FM is a really great thing to to have like a random LFO it's really on. really sensitive, right? But, yeah, but very, very small amounts. Uh, your filter, like I said, a comb filter would be really good or like a warp mode like sync. And that way it's not all just going out the same LFO, the same shape, like your main LFO, I'd like to call it. This would be like your yeah. side piece, your side, your side piece LFO. <laughs> Use that one on like just little increments on like certain little things to add little changes. Yeah. So we're going to keep going through. I'm going to go ahead and add, uh, uh, let's hear how it's sounding real quick. Yeah. Still sounds pretty basic. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and add the filter. I'm going to go filter and I'm going to add uh, miscellaneous or no, flangages. Flying is. And we're going to do comb plus. And we're going to set the cutoff to set the cutoff to 41 hertz. Uh, cool. And then turn the resonance up to 38%. 36. You do smell it. Yeah. I thought you were smoking. Yeah. I thought you were getting high. It's legal in California, people. It's legal. We could smoke all we want. Smoking reef, smoking Parker notch. drinks weed on the daily. Did I drink? Gallons, so much weed <laughs> gallons um so this is what i was talking about with this like little second lfo about experimenting go ahead and put this on the resonance right this is what i was kind of doing here yeah and since it's not on an actual like bpm right it's on since it's on uh whatever 41 anchor. point yeah anchor, anchor mode whatever the fuck it means uh it's not going to be the same as the the rate of which lfo one is going so it's going to add some difference so put it on the resonance and then pull that back to 50 all right, and then have the mix knob all the way or down a little bit more, like right around there, about 70 toots, and then turn the drive up just a smidge, like 19%. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead, and I got that on there. What else do I have it on? I think we're good. Oh, no, I got to put it on the wavetable position. Put it on the wavetable position, too, of the mini bass and have it go all the way down, like so. Go back to LFO 1 for me real quick. One, two. Okay, cool. That's on the next page. All right, it should be sounding like this. It's getting a little... Yeah, it's getting a little wet. It's getting a little wet. That's what that comb filter is doing, which is really nice. Okay, so now let's get into the effects part of the section. I'm going to go ahead and load my effect chain. Load effect chain. And where is it? SD, open, bam. There we go. I'm going to show you guys a really great trick with the delay, which I've just been messing around with a lot lately, and I just fucking love it. Okay, uh, Okay. so hyper dimension, uh, we have the rate at 40, the detune at 25, the mix at 31, size at three, and mix at 36. Sounds like this. Gonna widen the sound a little bit more with the, high, with the dimension. It's a little hard to tell. But you can hear it's getting a little bit wetter too, which is really nice. Next, we wanna bring up the volume, so we're gonna add a diode, um, diode one distortion drive all the way down and mix uh, like 60%. And then we're gonna put LFO2 on the drive and have it go just all the way up. All so the way. when that sound starts, um, it's not gonna be as distorted until it gets to right here. And then the distortion is gonna shut quickly. You can actually really hear that. Yeah, it's crunching it up a lot. Next is my new little favorite delay trick. Okay. So I've done stuff with like simple delay in Ableton where you like delay the left and the right side. So with delay with Serum, which is really cool, they get kind of a comb uh, effect, more of like a combey filter, but even like kind of more metallic and wet. Yeah. Um, if you turn off BPM and turn on link, 
right here. And you can change the left and right channel to be exactly the same, but this is gonna cause like a really short delay, which mm -hmm. is gonna kind of give it that metallic sound. So, a, oh, that's a good nug. Be robust. When using a delay filter, <laughs> when using a delay effect, try messing with, try linking both the left and right. God damn it, I suck at this. What should I say? It's the accent. Try linking, try, try link the stereo field and, uh, and creating a up. short delay to, yeah. to add a lot more of a metallic sound. You gotta pull the feedback up too. Yes, make sure the feedback is up. You can put it on ping pong and normal, and then you have this little filter here, which is really great because you can kind of just do it to the highs if you want. But feedback's at 40 toots, and mix is at 27%. Sounds like this. It's adding that little short, which what kind of what a comb does, it's like adds that, like, it, comb doesn't really add a delay, but it sounds like a comb to me. It sounds yeah. like, like metallic is like, like a comb. Like reflective. Yeah, exactly. Because what's, what's happening is like, it's doing a, de a delayed signal right after the sound It's hits. like a double. It's right. It's like a very short double. Exactly. Which kind of makes it sound, um, I don't know, like it's vibrating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, next, we go ahead and have a reverb filter. Uh, reverb filter with a cutoff at 76 hertz, resonance at 35, drive at 31, damp all the way down, pan at 50, and mix at 53. This is kind of getting more metallic, kind of more shimmery. Nice. That's sounding really good. And then we're going to go ahead and cap it off with an OTT. Now shit's going to get loud. Thresholds at 18 over 1, ratios at 4 over 1, attack at 90. Release at 90, gain at 14.9, uh, mix at 100%. Sounds like this now. Let me turn that shit down. <laughs> I got the master like there. Yeah. Just capping it on off, dude. This sound is all the filter and, and the effects. Yeah. Here. And what's cool is when the sub's going through it, it just sounds really shardy. Like, let me turn off this. There. <laughs> yeah. Right? But it sounds kind of like a lot more spread, so which is why I added an extra sub underneath, which we're going to show you guys right now after we process this. So that's pretty good for that. Don't forget, that's in the download description below. We're going to go ahead and add the rack right now. So. This is included, so I'm gonna go ahead and go through one by one what we got here. I added a simple delay, and I did kind of the same thing. I was like, let me try it again. Um, let me try let me try doing this little uh, delay trick again, but with Ableton. So I went ahead and linked them. Same type of thing, right? Uh, I got 15 milliseconds with link, feedback at 13, and dry wet at 24. Just a little taste of it. A little taste of it. Let me turn these off so we can hear one by one what they're doing. <laughs> I'm gonna turn it off. Just adding the same thing, another short yeah. delay. Next, this is kind of like my new, we did this in the 1788 uh, tutorial. Uh, shout out 1788 if you really did comment and say that we got close but no cigar. Yeah, but we, we want some cigars, dude. I do want a cigar if you have one, we'll 1788. One but yeah, when we were doing the 1788, if you haven't checked that out, 1788 and Res Hex video, uh, I think it's like our, our last video. Yeah. Uh, I found this little bass amp. Uh, oh, I've used it before, but just like trying to use it to get a really distorted crunch. Uh, I just went ahead and clicked on the amp, um, and then you can search that in Ableton. And then I got gain at 6.27, bass at 4.6, mid at 5.0, uh, 5 treble at 2.62, presence at 6.27, volume at 9, set to mono, and 68.3. It sounds like this. <laughs> Kind of bringing that sub, yeah, just starting the sub up, up a little bit more. Last, I had a uh, sorry. Next, I had a saturator at minus one seven with Ooh. soft clip on. Yeah, I went backwards Ooh, and okay. 50, 50. percent for the dry wet. Everything else is stock. And then an OTT with some highs and mids at forty six percent. I like the reverse sat. I don't know why I just Reversing did it, dude. it, dude. I just did it, dude. And then lastly, I have an EQ. I'll move it over, bake. Don't, don't. Oh yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and switch that. Look how great Baker is. Beautiful. Shout out Baker in the comments below. Unless Shout you're Pinkman, out. you f <laughs> stalker. Fucking Breaking oh Bad. What happened to Pinkman, dude? Yeah, Your Pink girlfriend's here, dude. Pink She's Man waiting for bitch. you, dude. She's like, well, maybe if he comments again. I Actually, mean, probably not. She would never. 
<laughs> sorry, Pinky. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> sorry, Pinky. Apologies. Uh, okay, so uh, I just boosted the fuck out of the highs. It sounds like this. <laughs> oh, I got to do... scientific It's term. hard. When I have the, the comb filter on... Let me get into this real quick. When you have the comb filter on, it's not really moving too much. Um, and the comb is, is not really... You're not really able to tell the difference of it changing notes. If I go... I can hear the sub, but not really that. So what I did is I automated this cutoff just slightly. Is it F41? Just so it would help. Yeah. Did yeah. I move it? No, I think it's... Uh, yeah, yeah okay, 41. One. Oops, I just moved it. Nice. Okay, so I just went like this. I just clicked it, and I know that the note goes up, so I just moved this one up just like a tiny bit. Like Half that. step. Yeah, like... That small. Yeah, it's so tiny. Yeah. That's what she said. I'm going to go ahead and take this. And I'm just going to do it on this. up. Deep it on up. Okay. Next, let's go ahead and get into the sub. I'm going to set this at the same volume. This is at minus five. Seven love in the morning. So, sub is pretty basic. I just took a patch that I already had. Um, I put a, like a little bit of the same processing with some side chain. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll just show you what the patch looks like. I don't think we really need to remake it because yeah. it's pretty simple. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Uh, That's just my side chain right there. I'm going to turn off the processing. So this is in the download description. We included the, the preset in there too if you want it. So it's literally just... Um, put the gate Put the gate on the... the oh, new. good call. Yeah. Parker... Uh, it's, the, it's the OTT, huh? Yeah, the OTT is adding a little extra noise on this sound. So I'm going to go ahead and copy, copy this that. shit. Just to get rid of that little buzz. I'm going to put it on our new one here. Yeah, you hear that? Yeah. There. There's our buzz. It's gone. See you later. <laughs> so nasty. <laughs> okay, so the sub, right? The sub is basically, I have just a sine wave here on the sub oscillator, okay? No LFOs going on. I took an old patch and I just turned everything off and I just used a little bit of processing. So distortion would be diode two with uh, it's set to pre for the filter. So this is like a little filter inside the distortion. You can like automate it too if you wanted to. You could put a little, uh, yeah. sorry, modulate it. You could put a little thing right there on the frequency and we can move this wherever we want. But that's at 540 is what I had it at. Drives at 24, mix is at 96, and then OTT or compressor multiband in Serum. Everything's the same except I just turned out the gain. Oh, I guess I turned down the mix too, so I guess that's not doing anything. <laughs> I really, I really do like uh, like combining sine and, and triangle wave. Yeah, four subs. It's just I don't super know super aggressive, right? Because it has more harmonics than the sine wave. Yeah. Okay, so w next what I did is I just did a little bit more processing. It's kind of the same thing. I just used the amp, the same settings for the most part. Uh, except dry wet's at 77 and the saturator I boosted to 6.68 everything stock and soft clip on is the only difference and then we got some side chainage which you guys should know about that and together it sounds like this I never, I never realized I just never finished the bar. <laughs> it just does it again, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, hopefully you guys learned something. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. That's pretty much it for this sound. Yeah. Pretty simple. Don't forget they're in the download description below. If you like sounds like this, again, go get our pack. It's called Rhythm Riot. Okay. Yes. It's on our website at www.xlntsound.com. It's 50 bucks. We have 60 presets just like this. Growls, basses, mainly just drops style stuff. Yeah. If you like drops, if you need some nasty sounds, this is the perfect pack for you. And a lot of people are really buying it. I mean, it's just, it's probably doing as well as, as, as uh, cartel, I'd say. If, our, if our not better. Dude. Yeah. If not if better. Not better. Um, cartel is another pack with tribit, uh, hybrid trap, um, Future Bass, uh, 90 presets, 450 yeah. samples. Uh, project files in both of these for you guys, too. I always forget to mention that. There's a project file in, in all of our packs, it's lesser a quick pack, but if it's a main pack yeah. like Future Bass, Cartel, Dub Sauce, or uh, Rhythm Riot, they all have project files with the demo song that we use, so you guys can go in there and learn from it. So that's another yeah, thing. It's really get really get in depth to the stuff. Exactly, especially with rhythm. It's it's really you know complex stuff. You get to really dive deep in, and that's that's how I would learn. Right. You know, starting off is is 
diving into projects. Yeah, diving into projects and remaking people's shit. That's the yeah. best thing. Even I can even my friends' projects. You yeah. Know? Uh-huh. Like, yeah, I look at your shit all oh, the yeah, time. Give me like ten minutes with your project, and right. I just you know steal all the techniques. just see different stuff that they're doing. Yeah. So yeah, make sure you guys go get that. Also, too, if you don't want to buy anything, we do have tons of free shit on our website. We have tons of free downloads. We have tons of even some samples on there. Yeah. Uh, we have some some project files too. Uh, we've all the videos we've done. We've we've included uh, most. And if it had a preset, it's in there or yeah. a project file. So go ahead and go to our website. You can download all of them. Um, yeah, so make sure you guys go do that. We got merch. Uh, we are producers, so if you guys need help production, you want mentoring, send us an email, or you can go on our website. All our pricing and lessons and stuff like that is on our website, too. Yeah, go check it out. Um, production's a little bit different. Just email us for that at info at xlntsound.com. Mixing, mastering, same thing. Yeah. Uh, we have a studio here in Hollywood. If you're in Hollywood, California, and you want to use, come to the Excellent Studio and use some of the gear, just same thing. Email us up. We got a great studio here. We can book some time. Time. We can engineer for you. Whatever you need. Whatever you need. Live bands. Live you know, bands. Mixing, mastering. Porno all flicks. The mas- porno flicks, dude. You know, all all of the above. <laughs> Have you ever done a porno in here, dude? No. No, actually. <laughs> And someone comes in and do Haven't overdub. Checked that off the Just list. porno. They do do overdubs. Don't oh, they? yeah. They have dude. to, right? They do ADR. Yeah, for dude. Sure. ADR. Ooh. Mm, yeah. What does ADSMR stand for? A- ASMR. What does that stand for? ASMR. Yeah. It's like audio, audio sensory, 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 reproductive. Actually, Baker knows. I actually don't, but I do know what it is. You showed me those videos, ASMR. Baker. I know. I, I know. Isn't it sexual or something? No, it's just like weird, like satisfying sounds. Like you put like beads and shit and they crumple paper. Oh, that sounds nice. Yeah, it, it is nice. We should put some, we should make an ASR, <laughs> ASMR pack. <Yeah. laughs> just you and me whispering. <laughs> You're right. And I'm like, excellent sound. <laughs> Anyway, so <laughs> I think I got everything. Make sure yep. you guys, we're almost at 10K. So who wants to be number 10,000? Whoever's This, this might dude, be it. Whoever's this number 10,000, we got to give them something. Oh, huge giveaway. Whoever's, huge. Whoever, no, we are doing a giveaway regardless. Yes. But whoever is, can we find out who the 10,000 subscriber is? Uh, yes. yes. We can? We can. Yes, we can. Okay. Yes, whoever, we can. I'm doing it right now. Parker doesn't know about this. Uh-oh, shit. <laughs> whoever is the 10,000th subscriber will get all our packs. Oh, everything. I'll what? Give you everything. What? I'll, every single pack that you that we have. Oh man, did you guys hear that? Everything. Did you guys fucking hear that? Baker Why not? It. If the ten thousand person. Like, yeah, no, that's for sure. Sick. That's huge. Yeah. That like, is super huge. I agree. Yeah. If you got to make duplicate accounts to do it, go for it. Yeah, you know. If you want to get all our packs for free and you want to be that 10,000 person, you can figure out who it is, right? Yes, okay, I can definitely, cool. I can definitely. I'm pretty sure they could figure it out too. I'm sure they're probably, if they're trying to win that. So whoever yeah. our 10,000 subscriber is, will get all of our packs. Bam, I said it right here, right now. If we're not, <laughs> depending upon <laughs> when we actually post this to YouTube. <laughs> yes, and when, you know. <laughs> it's like already too late. Well, either way, if because we usually upload to, to YouTube after the live stream. Yeah, no, we'll we'll probably do it same day. Yeah. We'll try to. So don't forget about that. We are excellent sound. Thank you guys. Handshake. Dude, look, I figured out these stupid ass nipple. Look. Robot nips. Dude, oh, now I dude. look like a fucking NFL punter. <laughs> dude. Stupid. From like from like Madden like ninety nine. <laughs> like N sixty four. Or no, what was the football one where you'd like tackle people and like kill them? What was that one game? Oh, Blitz? Uh, yeah, Blitz. Dude, dude, I look like a punter. You look like a fucking NFL Blitzer. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys next time. If you like what we did here, oh, yeah, tweet Sudden Death, too. Tell him, say, hey. Yeah, tweet at him. Say, hey, you want say some cigars? Right. Whatever. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you next time.